everybody, welcome to another workout with Ryan. You guys are awesome for opening this link. You took the first step, you're here. Now think about what brought you here. What is your why, what is your reason? Why are you working out? Why did you sign up? That's what matters, that's what's gonna be that burning internal passion that brings you through whatever's in front of you. Really, that's what it's about. This is the same thing that I not only tell and coach to myself, yes, I coach myself every day, and I coach my athletes, NFL guys, little kids, seven-year-olds, of course I say it differently, professors, it's all the same thing. No matter what we're doing, as long as we know our why, as long as we have that torch that can bring us in the inevitable dark place or challenging place, because what is challenge without growth? What is growth without challenge? As long as we have that torch, that's what's gonna get us to our end goal. That is the most important thing. Doing the exercises, Doing the circuits, doing the time is great, but it doesn't happen unless we have our torch with us. It does not happen, it does not last unless we know our why. So we're gonna jump right into the warm up on top of that. We're gonna start out with high knees. We're either going hands out in front and getting step high knees right here, or we're going opposite arm, same thing, step, or we're speeding up and adding in the switch step, meaning right here. More of a switch step, make sure as I'm going, my toes are pointing forward and not down. Or we're going high knees in place with switch step and arm movement. So choose whatever works. We go for about 20 seconds in three, two, one. Find what works. We're starting getting high knees on this one. I don't care how high your knees go, they can go right here. If that's as high as they can go, that's fine by me. Another thing to watch out for is we don't want to be leaning back. Or forward as we're going, just nice, tall, straight, in place. Five, four, come on, three, two, one, relax. Awesome, y'all. Breathe it out after that. Next, we're gonna move into one of my favorite stretches, world's greatest stretch. You will see why it's called this. It's a great one, especially after doing high knees. So, we're going to be in a plank position on our hands to start out. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring my same side leg towards my same side hand, meaning right foot comes up towards my right hand. I get it up to where it's comfortable. Now, if that's back here, if that's farther than I can do it, then do whatever's comfortable. My next goal here is look at my back knee. I want to keep it pipe straight as much as possible. And then I'm going to take the same side elbow and go towards the floor. And as I go towards the floor, I exhale. So I'm getting a really deep stretch in this hip flexion and a really deep extension in the back hip. Now, after the elbow, I take that same side arm, windmill it in the sky, exhale, land on the outside of this foot, and then hips go back, butt towards the wall. You put your butt imprint on the wall and then reload. So one more walk through, leg up, straighten knee, elbow down, same side, exhale, windmill, follow your hand with your eyes, exhale, land on the outside, hips go back, hamstring stretch. So we're getting three, like more than three actually, things done at once. A lot of hip stretches, some thoracic spine rotation, the upper spine, I gotta focus on what I'm doing. And then also deep hit and some ankle stretches as well. One more each side. Really good one here, y'all. We're also working stability while holding this plank, uh, plank-esque position as we do this. Woo! Relax it. I'm feeling it in my quads, hamstrings core as well as my spine, so really full body. Like I said, we got ankle as well. So last one, we're gonna add it all together. We're gonna click save on the document. So we just wrote a bunch of stuff by getting some instructions. Now we're clicking save. Bear position for 20 seconds. Step one, knees come off. Step two, press the ground away. Step three, time to start. Holding for 20. My goal here is to not to let my sink, not to let myself sink into my shoulders. I really want to press the ground away here. It's more than halfway. Make sure you're breathing. Like I said, think about your why. 
Why are you here? Go ahead and relax it. That's what's most important. And that's what's most important to me about y'all. I want to know your why. I want to know why you're here so I can coach you better. That's how I coach myself. That's how I coach everybody that I've worked with. And that's how we create lasting change. Think about how good, how worthy, how valuable it would feel to actually have something last. You've achieved your fitness goal. You feel it. You did it. Now you can make it last your whole life. Think about how good, how worthy that is, especially now, day and age. There's tons of fitness programs out there. Well, think about now I can actually do it because I know my why. And I want to know your why. I'm here for you guys. I'll see you in the workout. Back coaching you guys. Peace.